How's it going everyone and welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley a survival series now some news on my regular modded series I have made a discovery that Automate is the one causing me to stutter if I have too many machines going which I didn't really have that many machines going I think I had around five or six but well no I had more I had five setups going but there's like five furnaces on one chest there was two kegs on a chest there was three recycling machines plus two uh, bug zappers on a chest and the animal thing which had three so I, as soon as I got rid of anything doing automate my game started not stuttering so I could play it without automate but the, it's not just that because if I got rid of all my expansions like Ridgeside and all them the game runs fine too so something's up to where I'm only able to handle something so much before it causes the stutter and I want to try to find out what's going on, but I'm done with testing for a bit, and I wanted to play some games. So, on to this series. Alright, let's get up, watch the TV. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. Rain all day, okay. Uh, since that new viewer has joined us, a young man from Stardew Valley, welcome, welcome. Noid, okay. And salmon bear. Ooh, we gotta collect those. So I didn't add any new mods. I couldn't find any I wanted to add. The only one I want to add is the weather machine, but it's get, getting a big overhaul, so I'm not gonna bother installing it yet. Um, most crops only grow in one season. Okay, I figured, and that's most crops seem to grow anytime because I got crops that won't be done until for 200 days. Yeah, that's gonna be um, that's fun. All right, let's get the watering can. How is my food and water? Horrible, oh crap. Um, well, I could just eat some small mouth bass. Not like we're ever gonna run out. Fishing's all I ever do anymore, so. All right, I'm gonna water these crops and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's go ahead and gather our salmon berries. We definitely wanna grab these. These, these are gonna be our main food source for a while. I also need to collect a bunch of them anyways for um, just in case they need them for the community center. So anytime I see a salmon berry, I'm going to be gathering them for the next, you know, few days when they're here. We also have an event over at Emily's and Haley's, so let's go ahead and head down there. Grabbing these salmon berries on our way and searching the trash cans. And it's this event. Uh, I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of work in this house, and you know it. Oh, it's that new farmer boy. He has a name, you know. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. Uh, I'm really sorry to involve you in this, Yogi. Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned them last week. Alright, so, um... I... am romancing Haley, so I should just take her side. But... I'm gonna do this one anyways, because that's the one I will... I will always pick that one. That's the one I will always pick. All right, you win. I guess this can be my job every week. Then there won't be any reason to argue over it. Thanks, Yogi. That was a great solution. All right. Are you in here? Oh, I can just enter your room. Okay, cool. Wait. Oh, that I didn't lose hearts at least. Here you go. No problem. Let's talk to you. This town is so small. It sucks. I have to drive like 20 miles to buy any decent clothes. That's why I usually order online. Yeah, with gas prices, you don't want to... What? Oh, I was just saying hi. I was exhausting all dialogue. Ooh, almost to the third heart. Nice. All right. Now. That was the only event we got available, so that's great. Might as well search all these trash cans. For loot, like cookies. A herring to rub on my sore hip. Well, I can definitely catch you one of those. Wait, who wanted this? Linus. 
this place has some weird medical practices, but hey. I don't think rubbing those on your hips are gonna do much, but oh no. Alright, I'm gonna go harvesting all these salmon berries in the forest and gathering what I can. And then we'll go and do what I always do, and that's fish. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, after I leveled up, I started getting two from each berry bush, so that's pretty neat. I was on like 50 before I started getting two. But I do have to say this. My god, this took forever to even try to do. Like, I've been gathering from every berry bush, and it's almost, it's past six. That's crazy. But yeah, time, time certainly flies when you're uh, just out picking berries, so. I'm still on the lookout, there's some more. But yeah, see, watch two. That's definitely helping. And these are pretty good energy-wise, so maybe they'll be good food-wise. We can actually test right now. Let's uh, eat a couple. 44, 53, that's not bad. Well, it was 50, it looked like it was 54, but it went down, so. Yeah, it's 10, it's exactly 10. That's not bad, that's pretty good. So this is, uh, I mean, it's not good good. It's still gonna be pretty bad, but it's better than nothing, right? And it's getting so late. This is what the next three days or so are gonna be looking like. Because this is berry bush season and I need to gather, you know, all the berry bushes, so. Uh, prepare for that, I guess. I do want to, we're only going to be able to do late night fishing, so that's what I want to do. Because I do want to get fishing in. I, I don't really check these trash cans usually, but I'm glad I did. Alright, we'll fish at the sea, because why not? Let's fish in the ocean. Maybe there's some stuff we can get. Oh, I need to repair that thing. And ooh, some oysters. Gather these. Might as well. I'm gonna need them anyways for the community center. All right, let's go fishing a bit and say hi to Willie. I do need to buy a new inventory thing. So the moment I get two, ah, oh, dang it. The moment I get two grand is what. That's what I'm gonna be doing is. You know, getting a new inventory slot. We're only gonna fish for a bit, so. And I lost my perfect streak. Oh no. So sad. I'll be getting rid of the CD first. Look at the beautiful water. Dynamic Reflections is a really cool mod. Oh, this one's tough. I gotta be careful. But you are mine. It's a halibut. It's a hal about that butt. No. 45 to 20. That's still worth worse than smallmouth bass. I'll be getting rid of the seaweed next, if anything. Wait, you, oh, didn't mean to do that. Headphones are annoying me for some reason. I really should rename this series to Stardew Valley of Fishing Series. That's all I do is fish and forage. It's gonna start off small like that, you know? We're gonna be doing a lot of foraging, a lot of fishing. Oh, he got mad. He's like, how dare you get in my way? I can't possibly go up. NPC pathing doesn't allow it. But yeah. Fishing is fun. I don't mind it. It's relaxing. I need food. My character gets hungry way too fast. If there was a weight gain system in this, this would be the playthrough to install it for the most use out of it. Where you have to get like exercise or something. There we go, a new mod. D new mod idea, diet idea. Like a, like a diet system to where you can gain weight, lose weight. That'd be pretty cool. I'm sure something like that's possible. 
they have all kinds of mods for Stardew Valley. It's ridiculous. It's cool though. Gives you more options to uh, you know to play around with. Ooh, there's the herring I need for uh, Linus, but he's probably in bed, so we're not gonna give it to him today. We'll give it to him tomorrow. That's it. That's worse than a salmon berry. Wow. By one point each. There we go. And I had a butt. Um, we'll get rid of the AOL CD disc. All right, I'll meet you guys back at the house. So see you soon. All right, let's go to bed. And I think I leveled up in foraging, so nice. And plus one wild berry harvesting. That would be the reason why I was able to do that. Nice. All right, and it's a rainy day today, so we don't have to water anything. Please move out of my way, kitty. Body with light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. Good humor. Ah, while it is a day we could go fishing, I'm going to go mining. Hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm right and letting you know that Pierre Store is now selling fertilizers. Well, that's good to know, Pierre. I can make my own, though. I did plant these rice, so. Figured that was something worth doing. I did build another chest. Grab this and this. Um, the berries can stay. Now the berries will take with us, but I'm gonna bring something else. I'm gonna bring a cup of water, and we're gonna bring. We're gonna eat this halibut. Nice, and we're also gonna bring. Oh wait, we need to deliver this herring to Linus. And I'm gonna bring with me these smallmouth bass because I can catch more. And we also should have some crops ready. So that's pretty cool. We got some radishes. Let's put these radishes up. I don't know why I'm saying them like that, but. It is berry season. I should go harvesting for some berries, but we'll do that later tonight. I only want to make it five or ten levels in the mines, so I'm not gonna try to get two up there, you know. I don't want to waste all the time in the mines. But I do want to make progress, so. And we'll go see Linus and bring him his herring. Pretty sure he said herring. If not, I'm pretty sure he likes herring, so. Like, I'm pretty sure he likes fish. Thank you, Linus. You're a really great friend. Here you go. I have a salmon berry, my friend. Paying me, even though I would do it for free for you any day, Linus. Any events? Pierre's shop. Oh, God, there's an event at Pierre's shop. I should do it. I should go for that, but we'll do it later if I have time. Pretty sure I know what event it is. I'm pretty sure it's the, uh, more, where Morris goes into the place and procl proclaims his love for Linus. Or not Linus. What did I say? I'm thinking of Linus, though. Proclaims his love for Pierre by giving tickets to all his um, customers. I'm pretty sure that's the event. Alright, let's go in here. We're 25. I've been not able to get past this, I believe, because of bosses. So, yay. We'll try this time. My inventory is full of stuff, though, so it kind of sucks. No! God dang it. And now I'm almost dead. That works. Alright. Let's search for an exit. I was trying to kill that thing before it could turn, but I failed. Yeah, I definitely need to get more inventory space. This is, uh, this is gonna be hell. Alright, give me the exit. It was a good luck day. This doesn't seem like good luck. There we go. I'll take the copper. Um, I'll get rid of the slime to grab the quartz. Ooh, finally some music. Nice. Just slime. 
God dang those things. Alright, let's look for an exit. How's my food and water? Doing pretty okay. Let's go ahead and eat another one of these to heal up. Oh, that mixed seed's probably worth getting, but I'll probably find something else worth swapping out for, so I guess in the meantime, we'll just take it. Always good to get those mixed seeds. What else is good to get? A ladder. This, uh, that's a geode. I don't really care too much about the geodes at the moment. There it is. There's the exit. There's some easy copper. I don't care about killing everything. But I will kill you. And then we can go ahead and go down. As long as we don't run into any boss monsters, we're fine and we can make progress. But if it hits five o'clock, we're gonna leave because I wanna fair I wanna get as many berries as I can, so I'd rather let's just go. Ooh. Cherry bomb. Oh, that was my miss. That was the biggest mistake I've ever made. Oh, wow. It died before it even could turn. That's cool. More gifts for Haley. I did give her a gift, so now she's, you know, getting closer. Um, water is at 43. Let's just drink this bottle or glass of water. Food goes down way too much. I'll say it over and over again. It's getting, it's kind of a little annoying. But I don't feel like changing it, so we'll keep it at what it's at, and I'll just complain about it still. That's how it works, right? Oh, there's a sword. It's a dagger. There's some boots. Plus one immunity, plus... All right. I'll keep what I got. Kill you. The bug meat is going to be super handy. Turn it into bug steak for us. So we'll definitely be keeping it. Let's kill you. Break a rock. Try to find our way down. Hopefully one of these is it. There we go. Level 30 and no chest. Excuse me. Why is there no chest? Is there usually no chest at level 30? Oh, I'm a little upset about that. That really sucks. There we go. All right, I say we just leave. It's berry time. I was kind of upset about no chest being on floor 30. That's weird. Deeper in the mines initiation. Oh, let's go ahead and enter the Adventurer's Guild. Might as well do this. I don't know why it's not showing up on the event, but okay. Whatever. And here we are, the Adventurer's Guild. And he'll buy bug meat off of us, which is a rip off. He's trying to rip us off. Ameth Amethyst ring. Why are the rings like this? Is this because of, uh... No, why are the rings like that? Huh. Oh, well, I don't care. As long as the game works, it's fine. And my ring seems to be working fine on me, so... Who cares? Let's go ahead and head to Pierre's. Alright, I believe this is that event. We'll go ahead and do it, why not? 
Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Ah, Morris. Ahem. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%? Well, any takers? It's more like 50%! That's what it was more like, but, you know. So why'd they all open the door different times? Why didn't one just hold the door open for everyone and then not make all the door noises? But I can't match those prices, I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. Alright, see up here. That's all I wanted from you. Alright, I'm gonna go deposit everything into a chest and then I'm gonna forge around until I can gather all the berries. And I'll see you guys as soon as I'm done. All right, I'm back. I think I've collected enough berries. I've went around the whole outskirts. Didn't get much. Not as much as the first day, but we're going to go fishing, so let's go fishing. Might as well get some fishing. This is a, I think this is the same time I went fishing last time. This time I have a little more inventory space, so should be pretty good. You know, I just woke up before I started recording and stuff. You guys, you guys ever get just, like, real tired? Even after you just got like five, six hours of sleep, even probably more, because I slept from like four thirty, I think, to pretty much almost one o'clock in the morning. So yeah, you're probably like, why do you sleep the whole day? Well, I'm I'm more of a night person, so I I like to stay up most of the time. It's more peaceful at night. Oh, that's a treasure. I gotta get it. Ooh, that was close. I hate the little bounce thing. I know there's a way to get rid of it, but I, I will never use that bobber because it's useless. I mean, it's helpful, but it's useless. Nice. And what do I get? Wow. So worth it. I might up the food thing, but not the water thing. There we go. Nice, nice. A shad. It's always good to get a lot of fish. All this fishing, I really do need to start doing the collecting of it. I just need to start getting 10 of each fish. I'd like for them to be all the same quality, though, before I do that, because, um... It's going to be kind of annoying trying to catch different qualities and keep them and waste chest space, so. Luckily, though, it seems to seems that I can only really catch high-quality fish. I think I messed that one up. I'm not too worried about it, but I might get Quality Smasher just to make things a little easier, but you might be thinking, oh, this is a harder series. Well, yeah, but... I don't think it makes anything easier or harder. It literally takes the quality away from something, so I have to sacrifice quality for a room. So I think it's a perfect trade-off. I'm still, th you know, looking at other mods to install. I'm not going to install any JSON mods because I don't want shuffles, even though shuffles have been pretty much... They're pretty much okay and fixed. I uninstalled PPJA fine on my uh, modded save, and everything went everything went completely fine. No shuffles at all. So, you know, I'm not really too worried about it. But I don't want to add any new items to the game. I just want to add new features. So, there's no new content. I want everything to be vanilla as possible. Just ex the way the game works is what I want different. Well, that's uh, the end of that streak.
What is this, a catfish? Yep. A catfish. What am I gonna possibly get rid of? The green algae. Alright, we gotta go. Let's head home. Hey, Willie, how's it going? Um. No problem, Willie. What's our friendship at? Wow. Wow, Willie. I haven't even got one heart. I got one heart with Sam. How do I got one heart? Well, you know, he really wanted that eel, so I did get one. It was pretty easy to get one hearts with him. Hello, neighbor. You like foraging, right? Alright, it's 12. I'm not going to go say hi to every person. We need to just go home. Regular quality catfish is 150, but a iridium quality bream is 67. Wow. Let's go ahead and deposit these fish. I, I do need to eat a little bit though, so let's eat some uh, smallmouth bass. I really want to unlock the kitchen, but I also want more inventory space, so I have to pick one I want to sacrifice. Then again, I'm not really getting many items, so I, I might just wait until I can upgrade the house, which I need 10 grand for, I believe. Alright, let's go ahead and go to bed. I don't think I leveled up, but come on, get on my white cat. I did, level 6 fishing, nice. I don't have a, I have the beginner rod that you start out with, but you know, whatever. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!